actually, if you are on the spiritual path, there's no time to be isolated because there's so many things to do. You know, but if you're not doing anything, you're lazy, then you will feel isolated. Yeah, it's true. Laziness is one thing what make one isolate oneself and have the feeling also being separate or being away from uh, everything. But when there's no laziness, you would see that you don't even have much time. So you have to watch that because once you become lazy, you will not make any effort. You will just find excuses to pity yourself and to find fault, not in you, because you think you're perfect in that moment, but in everybody else. <coughs> That's what laziness do. <coughs> but this is not the question. But the spiritual path is an isolated path. Why? Because it is you and the divine. Who understands you? Nobody will understand you. But God will understand you. He is the only reality. This is on the spiritual path. Where on the religious path it's different. Many people share the same ways, you know. But on the spiritual path, it is you and God. There is no two person. There's only one person. Then one will say, where is the Guru? The Guru is the divine itself. There's no difference between Guru and God. You know, there's only this. So, spirituality and isolation is important. Because if you don't isolate yourself, you don't take time to be with yourself and the divine, <coughs> you will never find what you are looking for. That's why it depends how you take the isolation, how you see the isolation. This is the next point. Because some people just now, I will just take an example. We were in Brindavan. There's one uh, Prabhu there. His sadhana is just to sit hours in front of his deity. This is his sadhana, which his guru have given him to do. He don't do anything. Just that. But into that, he find great joy inside it. And it's not that he's not doing anything. He is. He's watching at Krishna. And Krishna is looking at him. So both are looking at each other. And like that, time passed. But this is his sadhana which his guru have given him to do. And he's honoring it. And he's doing it. So, like that, it depends how you take your sadhana, how you enjoy your sadhana. If it is a pressure, of course everything around will be pressure. But if it is a joy of doing it, everything will be smooth. And it will flow very easily. In life, whenever you do something you love, of doing, you know, you are so enthusiasm in doing. You don't even see time passing. Then you say, ah, oh, it's finished already. Then you feel sad it's finished, no? 
So like that, it's important to have certain isolation, but you have to change the attitude, how you isolate yourself. The feeling of <coughs> being isolated or being away, you know, from everything, you don't know where you belong to, and the state of confusion, this is the state where the mind go through. Especially when you first start your spiritual path, you're first the on the on the path. The mind go through a state of confusion because the mind don't want to submit itself. The mind don't want to be controlled, but the mind want to control everything. No? So like that, you do feel because the mind knows all your weaknesses, and it would utilize all the weaknesses to put you down, to make you feel that, yet, you're not on that path, you're not on that way, you have to change certain things. No. That's the moment where you have to change the thought itself, change the mind. 